Hello, this is Doug with Air Purification Education, and these are two of the best mass-produced air purifiers in the entire world when it comes to filtering particulates like dust, allergens, and other physical contaminants. We are basically looking at the Bentley and the Rolls-Royce of the entire air purification industry when it comes to filtering particles. These two units filter particles at an elite level. So let's do a fairly comprehensive head-to-head -head comparison between the IQ Air Health Pro Plus and the Aeris 3-in-1 and compare them side-by-side for many different variables and applications. I have an IQ Air Health Pro Plus in my home and I ran one at my desk for over 10 years and I sold thousands of them over 15 years and I received a lot of feedback from many different customers on the unit. Plus, I was fortunate enough to meet with Frank Hammes, the CEO and owner of IQ Air, to receive some product training in the past as well. And I also have an Aeris 3-in-1 running at my home and I ran one at my desk as well after my IQ Air Health Pro Plus finally broke. I didn't sell as many Aeris units because they only became available on the U.S. market in recent years, and I only had access to consulting with them for about one year. Plus, it was hard keeping them in stock as they sold very quickly and there was limited supply. So I had sold about 40 of them in total to different residential and business customers, and I received valuable feedback from them as well. Plus, I was fortunate enough to be able to correspond with Pierre B., the founder and CEO of Aeris, for several weeks as I helped the company I worked for become the first dealer for Aeris in the entire United States. So I am pretty familiar with both units and the companies that manufacture them. So which one is the best for your particular needs and your particular environment? Well, let's do a step-by-step -step comparison to help you make that decision. Both the IQ Air Health Pro Plus and the Aeris 3-in-1 are manufactured in Switzerland, and both units have a plastic exterior frame. Let's go over the size of the units. Both the units weigh about 35 pounds. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus unit is 28 inches tall and 30 inches tall with the casters attached. It is 15 inches wide and 16 inches deep, which is about 7,200 cubic inches. And the Aeris 3-in-1 is about 23 and a half inches tall, about 14 and a half inches wide, and about 15 inches deep. So it's around 5,000 cubic inches in total. So the Aeris 3-in-1 is about six and a half inches shorter than the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. And overall, it's about 30% smaller in total size. And the vast majority of people prefer a smaller unit. So the size advantage is gonna go to the 3-in-1. Mobility and ease of transport. Both units come with wheels. The Aeris comes with little wheels already attached to the unit. And the Health Pro Plus comes with larger wheels you attach yourself. On a flat, hard surface like a hardwood floor, both units can be pushed very easily. On a carpet, however, it becomes fairly difficult to push the Aeris 3-in-1 unit and it requires some real effort as the little wheels find it hard to navigate carpeted surfaces, especially if it is somewhat of a shaggy carpet. The wheels are too small and they do not have enough clearance from the bottom of the unit to enable it to be pushed easily on carpeted surfaces. The 3-in-1 has a lower center of gravity, so you have to bend over more and push the unit from a lower point on carpeted surfaces. I would say it definitely takes some effort, especially if you're going to push it for a long distance on carpeting. The Health Pro Plus, on the other hand, is much easier to push on a carpet as the wheels are much larger and there is much more clearance from the bottom of the unit. Most people will not be pushing their units on a regular basis, but some people do transport their air purifiers between various rooms during the day. I'd say if you plan on moving the unit a lot on a regular basis and you have carpeting, then the IQ or Health Pro Plus will be much easier to transport on a regular basis. The mobility and ease of transport issue is an advantage for the Health Pro Plus. The maintenance intervals. What are the maintenance intervals for the two units? The IQ or Health Pro Plus has three filters that get changed after different intervals. The pre-filter gets changed about once every 18 months. The V5 gas and odor filter gets replaced about once every two years. And the Hyper HEPA filter gets replaced about once every four years. The Aeris 3-in-1 has one large cube filter, which contains all three of the filters, the pre-filter, the carbon filter, and the HEPA filter all in one big cube. And the entire cube is supposed to get replaced about one time per year on average. It does have four small pre-filter nets on the bottom. You could brush off occasionally, but that won't take much time. So over 10 years, you would be changing a filter element on the Health Pro Plus about 13 times on average. And on the three-in-one, you'd be changing the cube only about nine times on average. So the advantage on the number of times you will perform maintenance on the units is gonna go to the Aeris 3-in-1. About once a year, 
You're going to be popping a new cube into it. And with the Health Pro Plus, you're going to be seeing some blinking lights every so often. That's going to tell you when to change your filters. And of note, sometimes these lights blink prematurely, in my opinion, which has been my experience. So yes, the maintenance intervals advantage is going to go to the three in one. How easy is it to replace the filters? With the Airs 3-in-1, if you've already seen my review video of the unit, you know it is one of the easiest filter replacements I've ever seen in 16 years out of hundreds of different air purifier units. You just pull open the top, which is held by magnets, take out the cube and put in the replacement cube and put the top back on and boom, you're done. It takes less than a minute. It's pretty brilliant. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus, on the other hand, has a more involved process and one that I've never liked. Even after years of having a Health Pro Plus, whenever I pulled apart the plastic arms and took the top of the unit off to access the filters, I've oftentimes felt like one of the arms was gonna break off. It's not a smooth filter replacement process, especially when you have to replace the pre-filter, which is all the way at the bottom of the unit. And the pre-filter is gonna get replaced the most often. The problem is there is very little space for you to navigate the pre-filter in and out, and you kind of have to jiggle it sometimes. So I'm not crazy about the filter replacement process on the Health Pro Plus. I would actually sometimes tell customers it's the Achilles heel of the solution, as I personally dislike the process. So I'm definitely given the filter replacement advantage to the Aris 3-in-1 for sure. It's about as simple and easy as it's going to get. Cost of filter replacements. Now let's look at the cost of ownership for filter replacements for the two solutions with current pricing. The IQWare Premax pre-filter is $79. The V5 gas and odor filter with carbon is $99. And the Hyper HEPA filter is $199. If you change these filters, at the recommended intervals over 10 years, you would pay a total of $1,367. So the average annual filter replacement cost for the Health Pro Plus, about $137 per year. The Aris 3-in-1's filter is currently $199. So if you replace that filter one time a year, then the IQ or Health Pro Plus's filter replacements will be about $63 less per year on average. So the average annual filter replacement cost for the Health Pro Plus is about 30% less than the Aris 3-in-1. So the average cost of replacement filters is an advantage for the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. Energy usage and cost. Let's look at the cost of ownership for energy between the two units. The Health Pro Plus, if run on the highest setting 24 seven for an entire month, will cost on average $24.90 using the average kilowatt per hour rate in the United States, which is currently 16 cents. The Aris 3-in-1, when set on high speed 24-7 for a month, will cost about $20.85 on average. So the Aris 3-in-1 is about $4 less a month to run on high or 16% less expensive. But that doesn't really tell the entire story because amazingly enough, the Aris 3-in-1 produces 390 CFMs on high, and the Health Pro Plus produces only 300 CFMs on high. So the Aris is actually producing about 23% more CFMs, basically moving 23% more clean air than the Health Pro Plus on high for 16% less electricity and cost. So you are getting 23% more clean air for 16% less money when we combine these two variables. That is amazing because the IQ or Health Pro Plus is an extremely well thought out engineered unit and the Aris is beating it in both categories. More airflow while being even more energy efficient. This is a powerful testament to the fantastic high level of engineering behind the Aris solution. Now, if we compare the two units head to head at 200 CFMs, the Health Pro Plus produces 200 CFMs on speed five, while the Aris 3-in-1 is so powerful that it produces 200 CFMs on speed three. At 200 CFMs, the Health Pro Plus will cost on average about $17.84 a month, whereas the Aris 3-in-1 will cost about $9.27 a month. So when both units are producing 200 CFMs, the Aris is actually about 49% more energy efficient. Again, there are many reasons why iRobot spent over $70 million to acquire the Aris company about two years ago. 
out of all the hundreds of different air purifier manufacturers all over the world. They chose Aris because they are an elite air purification company. So if you run both units on 200 CFMs 24-7, you will save about $8.57 a month with the Aris 3-in-1 or about $102 per year. So the electrical consumption and overall energy investment advantage goes to the Aris 3-in-1. Total cost of ownership. So if we combine the two variables to consider the total cost of ownership per year, the replacement filters and the energy costs, the Aris 3-in-1 will cost about $40 less per year, running 24-7 at 200 CFMs. So the Aris 3-in-1 is the winner for total cost of ownership. How about the cost of the units? How much do the units themselves cost? The current costs for the units themselves is $899 for the IQR Health Pro Plus, and the Aris 3-in-1 is currently $749. So the Aris 3-in-1 is currently $150 less expensive for the unit itself, or about 16% less. Again, advantage Aris 3-in-1. Area coverage. Let's go over the coverage areas of the units. As already stated, the Aris 3-in-1 has a max of 390 CFMs on the high speed, and the IQ Air Health Pro Plus has a max of 300 CFMs on high speed. So the 3-in-1 unit can provide 23% more airflow and CFMs, which give you more air exchanges in your environment, which is especially important in larger spaces. So the 3-in-1 can accommodate larger spaces and or provide more air exchanges in the smaller spaces as well than the Health Pro Plus. I personally like to supersize my air purification solutions for my cubic footage if possible. It just gives me cleaner air around the clock. To me, this just makes sense. The more air exchanges, the cleaner the air. If you are using a really good air purifier, in about a thousand square feet with eight foot ceilings, you would get about three air exchanges an hour with the three in one unit versus about 2.3 air exchanges with the Health Pro Plus. And in 500 square feet, you could get almost six air exchanges an hour with the three in one versus about four and a half with the Health Pro Plus. So the area coverage and airflow advantages definitely favor the Aris three in one. Okay, airflow and filtration. Both units pull the air in through the bottom and the air is then pushed upwards through the filters and then eventually the clean air comes out of the top on both units. The three-in-one has the purified air come out at the very top on all four sides of this square. And the Health Pro Plus has the purified air shoot out through these vents on all four sides of the unit. Even though both units have the clean air flowing out the top, if you are sitting near the 3-in-1, you won't notice the airflow as much as the Health Pro Plus. There is less of a noticeable draft with the 3-in-1 as the air hits this lip around the top of the unit and it gets driven straight upwards toward the ceiling. Here's a quick little demo to show you how the air flows on speed 6, the highest speed. You can see the red plastic is being pulled towards the bottom of the unit because it's so powerful on high it actually noticeably pulls the air towards the bottom, even from a distance. And you can see the plastic only catches the airstream from the top of the unit when it is about one foot from the unit. The purified air really gets pushed almost straight up out the top of the unit. Now, if you sit in close proximity to the Health Pro Plus, you may actually feel the air come out of the sides, depending on where you are in proximity to the unit and depending on what speed you have the unit running. I used to have the Health Pro Plus sitting close to me and I could actually feel the air hitting my arm. I ran it on speed five, which was 200 CFMs, and the unit was within about three feet from me or so. It didn't bother me, but just so you know, the clean air does travel differently exiting the top of both units. Having the air get pulled up through the filters from the bottom of the unit to the top is a fairly unique design in the industry, and the vast majority of air purifiers do not push the air in this type trajectory. That said, we're not going to pick a winner for this variable as different customers will have different preferences on how the air flows from their units. Noise levels. So which unit is quieter? Both units have six different speeds to choose from. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus is 41.8 decibels on low, and on the high setting, it's 59.3 decibels. The Aris is 35 decibels on the low speed and 65 decibels on the highest speed. 
So it is quieter on the lowest speed than the IQ Air Health Pro Plus, but it is louder on the highest speed. But again, as mentioned, you get 23% more airflow and coverage on the high speed with the Aeris unit. If we compare apples to apples, comparing them at 200 CFMs, which is a more often used setting for air purifiers in general, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus is rated at 53.4 decibels and the Aris is rated at 42 decibels. So the Aris is much quieter on 200 CFMs than the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. So the noise advantage is gonna go to the Aris three in one. Particle filtration. These two units really excel at particulate filtration more than anything. They are elite solutions when it comes to filtering particles. HEPA is a benchmark in the industry and it is defined as filtering particles 99.97% down to 0.3 microns. The Health Pro Plus actually filters better than HEPA as it can do 99.5% down to 0.003 microns, which is up to 100 times the air cleaning efficiency of traditional HEPA. That is why they say their units have hyper HEPA filtration. That said, the Aris 3-in-1 can filter 99.98% of particles down to 0.1 microns, which is insane filtration. So they are both great at filtering small particles, but I do believe the Aris 3-in-1 is even a little bit better than the Health Pro Plus for particles. And I have heard of some IQR customers who switched to the 3-in-1 solution and experienced even better breathing. So I'm going to give the advantage for particle filtration to the Aris 3-in-1 unit as I do believe it does filter just a little bit better. Filtration for odors and VOCs. Knowing which air purifiers filter better for various VOCs and chemicals in the air is very difficult to figure. There are different types of carbon and additives on the market, and it's hard to know which perform the best for the 10,000 plus different chemicals in the air. The IQ or Health Pro Plus has five pounds of carbon, and the Aris 3-in-1 has two pounds. That said, just because one unit has more carbon than another doesn't necessarily mean it is better for taking odors and VOCs out of the air. So this is somewhat of a tricky variable to figure out. Plus, it's very difficult to test accurately for an air purifier's ability to take VOCs and chemicals out of the air. Years ago, I was told that accurate controlled tests for VOCs and chemicals performed by experts cost tens of thousands of dollars. And the little inexpensive handheld sensors that we can get off of Amazon can be very inaccurate at testing for VOCs. So I don't currently trust them to provide reliable results. So I'm going to just provide an opinion on this based on my personal experience. Years ago, I was very happy with the IQ or Health Pro Plus filtering for a new paint and carpet environment that was off gassing like crazy. It did a bang up job for taking those chemicals out of the air very quickly. I don't have similar firsthand experience with the Aris 3-in-1 unit, but I have had customers tell me it did a really good job for odors in their environment. So I currently look at it like this. If I think my environment is going to possess a higher level of VOCs and odors on a regular basis that I'm gonna need to purify, you know, maybe more than a regular environment, then I think the Health Pro Plus is the superior choice. I'm going to assume the two units are similar in VOC filtering ability, and I'm going to assume the Health Pro Plus's additional carbon will enable it to last longer. And then the big issue is, when the carbon is all used up and saturated. If I have a Health Pro Plus, I can just go and buy carbon for $99 since it is a completely separate filter that can be replaced all by itself. On the other hand, if I have an Aris 3-in-1 and the carbon gets saturated, then I have to go buy an entirely new filter for $199. So I would incur twice the cost because the 3-in-1 filter cube contains all three filters in it and you therefore have to replace all three of them at once. The carbon component is sandwiched in between the HEPA filter and the pre-filter. So that is my current opinion on this. If I think my environment is going to require more than normal VOCs and odor filtering, then I'm going to say the Health Pro Plus is superior since it has two and a half times more carbon weight and I can get more of it for half the price should I need to. So based on that, I'm going to go in favor of the Health Pro Plus as a superior VOC and odor filtration solution at this point in time. Warranties. On the warranty issue, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus has a 10-year warranty as they extended their warranty in 2016 from a 5-year warranty to a 10-year warranty. They basically doubled it. And that shows me they have a lot of confidence in their solution. And the Aris 3-in-1 only has a 2-year warranty, which I'm not happy about. I think they need to eventually bump that up to a five-year warranty at least. Either way, 
The IQ Air Health Pro Plus does have a longer warranty, so the warranty advantage definitely goes to the Health Pro Plus. Okay, on the longevity and reliability side, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus has been on the international market for over 20 years, and the Aris 3-in-1 has been on the international market for about eight years now. IQ Air has been mass producing the Health Pro Plus for over 10 years more than Aris. And they also probably have at least 10 times more units in the market than Aris. So their manufacturing process is much more mature, in my opinion. And since the Health Pro Plus has been around much longer, they therefore have a lot more experience with suppliers, dealers, customers, and manufacturing and distribution issues, as well as stocking out issues. These are things that only time and experience can teach a company. And IQ Air has this experience in spades. Plus, Aris was purchased by iRobot about two years ago, so iRobot has to go through a whole new learning curve with the product line and all the multiple variables as well. I had an IQ Air Health Pro Plus running 40 hours a week for a little over 10 years before it broke. And through the years, I've sold many replacement filters to many IQ Air customers who've had their units for over a decade as well. So I am very comfortable believing that the Health Pro Plus is at least a decade-long solution on average. The Aris 3-in-1, on the other hand, has only been in existence for eight years, and I don't know what the expected lifespan of the solution is. And I would say that I do believe there were a few more issues with the 3-in-1 customers than the Health Pro Plus customers that I personally dealt with. I don't have a huge sample size on this, nor do I have 100% conclusive black and white data but that is the feeling I got from working with multiple customers who purchased the two units. Plus, the Aris 3-in-1 has an onboard air quality sensor, and it's a smart solution, and it has more features, so it has more things that can fail or become more unreliable over time than the Health Pro Plus. Any product that has more features and bells and whistles oftentimes has a better chance of breaking or having some features fail in a shorter amount of time because there are just more things that can go wrong. This is not always the case, but it is a general loose rule of thumb, in my opinion. And of course, on the warranty issue, IQ Air is so confident in their Health Pro Plus that they doubled the warranty from five years to 10 years in 2016. So they had to have a pretty good idea of the lifespan of their units before they made that decision, as that is a bold increase in their warranty, and someone had to crunch a bunch of numbers to make sure that they didn't run into trouble with future warranty requests. Aris, on the other hand, like I mentioned, only has a two-year warranty, which I really dislike. So I don't know for sure, but if I had to put money on it, I do believe on average that the Health Pro Plus units will last longer than the Aris 3-in-1 units, and they will tend to be more reliable. So I'm currently going to give the product longevity and reliability advantage to IQ Air. Technological capabilities. On the smart, digital, and remote issue, the Aris 3-in-1 is a smart air purifier. It has a built-in air quality sensor that can adjust the speed of the fan based on the air quality feedback it receives from the environment. It can also be controlled with your smartphone and you can set timers with it. It can provide you with information on the air quality inside your room, as well as the AQI air quality index outside your home but it does not come with a separate remote. You can control the unit with the control panel on top of the unit itself or with your phone. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus, on the other hand, is not a smart air purifier in that it does not have a built-in air quality sensor and cannot be controlled with your smartphone. 
That said, it does possess some digital functionality and it can tell you how many hours you have on your filters and it also can alert you when to replace your filters. It also has a timer function so it can be programmed to turn on or off at certain intervals and speeds. All that said, if you want a smart air purifier with a built-in air quality sensor that you can control with your phone, then the Airs 3-in-1 is the unit. Manufacturer's service levels. Let's talk about service levels and response times for the two manufacturers. If you've seen my previous product review videos for these two air purifiers, then you already know I was very disappointed with both companies for the length of time it took for them to respond to my inquiries. iQueer still hasn't responded to a few of my email inquiries and Aris took over a week to respond to my questions and they did a very poor job with the actual answers when I finally received them. I was able to get to staff in both companies by using the chat function on their websites and or by calling them directly. So when I did finally talk with the reps from both organizations, it became very apparent to me that the IQR staff is much more knowledgeable about their product than the Aris staff. iRobot purchased Aris about two years ago, and for whatever reason, their staff seems to have very limited knowledge of the Aris 3-in-1. Perhaps they are much more knowledgeable about their robotic vacuums as they have been selling those for many years. This is unfortunate because Aris was super responsive a few years back when I worked with them at my previous company, and they really focused on customer satisfaction when they were an independent company. But now that they've been purchased by iRobot, I think their current overall service levels have slipped by a lot. So even though we're not talking about customer service per se, like the return process for units, We'll just categorize this under general manufacturer service levels. And I'm going to currently rule in favor of IQR for this. They were both poor, but IQR was less poor in my most recent experience. Aesthetics. Which unit looks better? Well, this is kind of up to your own personal opinion. But I do think the vast majority of people will say the Aris 3-in-1 is better looking. As I have had some folks through the years mention that the IQR Health Pro Plus looks ugly and outdated. And I've heard this complaint more so, especially in the past five years or so, as more attractive competitor units have hit the market. So the three-in-one seems to be the better looking unit, and I think most of us would agree on this. Application ratings. Okay, here's a rundown of how I would currently rate the two solutions for different applications and environments. Number one, allergies, asthma, dust, pet dander, mold, basically particulate filtering. I do like the three-in-one better for these applications. Both units filter better than HEPA, and they both filter particles at an elite level, and they are two of the best solutions on the entire market for sure. But the three-in-one filters even a little bit better than the Health Pro Plus, and it also has stronger airflow to provide more air exchanges. So I choose the three-in-one. Number two, secondhand smoke, like neighbor smoke coming in through your vents, but not to be confused with people actually smoking in the room with the unit. You know, not for someone smoking a pack of cigarettes in the kitchen every day. I wouldn't recommend either unit for in-home smokers, but the units can be good for secondhand smoke coming from a neighbor through your vents. In a townhome or apartment situation, I've had many people request pure fire recommendations who are in these particular situations, especially during the colder months as many smokers tend to smoke inside more often as it gets colder outside. Both units are very good for this application, but the three-in-one is probably a little bit better, so I'd give the advantage to the three-in-one. Number three, wildfires. I would give the slight edge to the three-in-one again. Both are great for the wildfire smoke application, but I think the three-in-one is a little better. And I've definitely had some feedback from wildfire customers who absolutely love the three-in-one. So yes, I'd go with the three-in-one. Number four, viruses like COVID. 
I would go with the Ares 3-in-1 on this as well. The 3-in-1 has been tested by an independent lab and proven to capture and remove 99.9% .9 of airborne viruses and bacteria. Plus, it filters 99.9% .9 of the inactive COVID in 30 minutes. So I choose the 3-in-1 with the Health Pro Plus still being extremely high on that list. Chemical sensitivities. This one is a little tricky. The IQ or Health Pro Plus could be good for this, but it's really hit or miss. I've definitely had some MCS customers who love the Health Pro Plus, but I've also come across some who could not coexist with it at all. Now, IQ Air, the manufacturer, officially recommends their GC unit for MCS customers as it has more than twice as much carbon. So I'd probably take a look at that solution instead if you have MCS. On the Aeris side, I've never dealt with an MCS customer with the Aeris 3-in-1 unit, and I'd say that since it doesn't have a ton of carbon in it, and since I've had some super chemically sensitive customers use the IQ or Health Pro Plus very successfully in the past, and I'd rate the Health Pro Plus unit as being a better VOC solution in general, for all those reasons, I'm going to go with the Health Pro Plus over the Aeris 3-in-1 for MCS. Okay, so now let's take a look at the scores between the two solutions. When we add up the scores for the various categories, we have the IQ or Health Pro Plus winning 6 and the Aeris 3-in-1 winning 11. So it's 11 to 6 in favor of the Aeris 3-in-1 unit based on these particular variables. So here is a summary of the score breakdown. The Aeris 3-in-1 got the nod for number 1 being 30% smaller in size, number 2 less maintenance as you are only changing the filter about one time a year, number 3 easier filter replacement process. Number four, it is more energy efficient. Number five, it has a little less total cost of ownership than the Health Pro Plus when you combine the filter replacement and electrical costs. Number six, less expensive. The cost of the unit itself is currently about $150 less than the Health Pro Plus, so it is a less expensive solution. Number seven, it is the quieter unit when both units are run on 200 CFMs than the Health Pro Plus. Number eight, the unit provides better airflow and therefore more air exchanges. Number nine, it possesses a little better particulate filtration. They are both elite in this area, but the three-in-one is a little bit better. Number 10, it is a smart air purifier with a built-in air quality sensor, and it can be controlled with your phone. And finally, number 11, from an aesthetic standpoint, I do think most people would agree it's a better looking unit than the Health Pro Plus. And the IQ or Health Pro Plus gets the nod in these six areas. Number one, mobility on carpeting. The Health Pro Plus has larger wheels, so it is more easily transported on carpeting. Number two, the Health Pro Plus is currently about $63 less per year on average for filter replacement costs. Number three, it is probably a better and less expensive option for VOCs and odor applications. Number four, it has a much longer 10-year warranty versus the 3-in-1's two-year warranty. Number five, the Health Pro Plus is probably the more reliable solution at this point. And number six, the IQ Air manufacturer's service levels, while not great, were better than the service levels I recently received from iRobot. So that is a head-to-head -head comparison between the two units on multiple variables. I do hope this information helps you make the best decision for your particular needs and preferences. You would not be making a mistake by going with either solution as they are both elite air purifiers and I absolutely love both options. And as I mentioned, I also personally own both of them. If you would like to support my channel and efforts, you can purchase either unit from the affiliate links listed below in the description. I certainly do appreciate your support. Please let me know if you have any questions I can help you with. If you would like to see my specific review of the Aris 3-in-1 air purifier, then please click on this link here. And if you'd like to see my specific review of the IQ or Health Pro Plus, then please click on this link here. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.